Welcome back to another episode of Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. My name is Brink. Today, let me show you a couple of things. Uh, we fought the weather off camera. We, uh, well, Thorgal streamed it, so that was good. Um, he donated one of the stars. We fought two of them. He donated one of the stars to spawn, and I built this beacon, and I think I'm going to put speed on it for everybody, and hopefully we get a little bit of speed in a second should appear in a second. I saw that the field of view changed already. Maybe I'll just reset it. There it goes. Now, since there's only one layer, there's only nine blocks of iron here, it's only going to reach, I think, about eight blocks away. So when this five seconds... Oh, it does reach a little bit further, apparently. Yeah, still going. This is reaching pretty far. I wonder if they added... They probably added a couple of blocks at the bottom of the pyramid. Okay, so there's where it ends. It's somewhere around here. Looks like around 16 blocks, I guess. Let's just take a quick look here. No, they didn't add to it. That's strange. This uh, this apparently does reach pretty far, just with 9 blocks. But anyway, we want to expand it down as far as we can. 9 blocks uh, base, 9 by 9. So that it reaches all of, uh, well, most of Spawn Village. At least up to that area up there back there in the farms so 50 blocks should be good we just have to make a lot of metal down here so I'm asking for a collection from the the rest of the guys I need about 164 I, I'm calculating this I'm not too sure it's correct but any metals will do like lead iron those types of metals anyway so let's get to it today we are going to be working with flight now for the wither fight to get those nethers nether stars I built myself a little jetpack, a small one. But the problem is that in order to use it, I have to take my chest plate off. And it works just fine. Um, if I hold hover, you can see that it's almost created a flight hover type. It's very solid. Actually, probably better or more solid than the resonant uh, jetpack, which I don't think we have in this pack. So, let's... Uh, Let's just take a look to see if there is a, a jetpack by Resonant. And apparently it is. Simply Jetpacks is here. And a Dark Solarium is here as well. Yeah, it is as tough as it always was. <laughs> it is very difficult to build. Yeah, these thrusters take a long time as well as these uh, cooling units. The recipe on these have changed, I believe. Just a really long rabbit hole here. But definitely doable. I mean, down the row. Uh, let's see. So we got the thrusters here. I don't see the simple resonant type. This kind. Here it is. Resonant jetpack. It has very little hover drop. But kind of. I mean, you can notice it after a while. It starts dropping after a little bit. But anyway. This one doesn't. But it uses energy. So... I'd like to make it as efficient as possible because what I do is I drop it in here and it does fill up but this takes a long time to refill because my water mill doesn't produce a whole lot of power and these uh, batteries as you can see they're working just fine they'll uh, overnight take all the energy that I have in the water mill and store it so that this refills while I'm recording awesome all right, so what I want to do is work on a better system of flight, and I'm going to stick with IC2 for a little bit before I move out of spawn and make one of these. This will be down the road, like I said. It's not going to be anytime soon. This is working just fine. I just want to combine it with my chest plate because I want protection while I'm flying. We fought the wither, and I did die, and it's because I didn't have a whole lot of protection. I only had this. I didn't even have a bow. I was thinking it would be so easy, but then I forgot. I don't have my chest plate, so I shouldn't be fighting with a sword. Anyway, so I want to combine it. And the way to combine it, we're going to take a look at this advanced nano chest plate. Now, I made most of the, the um, recipes that are needed, the ingredients for this recipe that are needed for this. I just need to move it into crafting tables and I only have well, let's see we have about three or four crafting tables around and it just gets cumbersome using this so I want to use a new device and I've worked with project tables before 
but I want to work with a different project table that I haven't worked with yet. And it's not called a project table. I think it's Steve's, um, Steve's something. And uh, let's see if we can find it here. Steve's, well, it's part of this. Steve's workshop is what it is. Okay. This, I don't know if it's a project table or a workbench or a crafting table, what they want to call it, but they haven't named it yet. It's an unnamed block report to Mod Arthur. Apparently it hasn't been named. Pretty cheap to build. We're going to need some stone and some planks. And if we back up, we just wrap that item around cobblestone and planks. So we'll just grab some stone. Uh, here's the stone here. Some cobblestone and some planks. And I don't know that we have enough planks there, so let's just grab a few more. Now we are going to need to do this with this. And we have this. Blank upgrade. And then we make this item with the blank upgrade in the middle. We're going to need a crafting table though. Let's bring it over here. So I think we alternate. And is it like this? No, it wasn't a uh, cobble. It was, uh, I believe it was this. So we'll just rotate it going all the way around. It's not that. Okay. So I'm doing something wrong. Oh, it's planks on the top and then cobble around the bottom. Very simple. Let's just shift click it and we have our block. We'll call it a workbench for now, I guess. Now I made an extra diamond chest plate for this very purpose. So what I'm going to do is probably plant it down here. And the only problem is that it's going to be a little bit lower than floor level. But we'll still be able to walk through it without an issue. So since this is our starter base, I don't mind a little bit of messy, uh, the messy look. When we get to our real base coming up, we will be set up real nice. Can we move all of this? There we go. So we'll move all of this over here. And these are some of the items that I built off camera that I think will help us to move along faster in building that chest plate armor. This with the jet pack, wherever it might be, right here. Cool. We'll put them together there. Now I have the planks and another set of planks here. The spruce planks, where are they? I don't see them, but here's the stone. Yeah, let's put them away. And I just want to keep as clean an inventory as possible. So there we go. Should be all gone. Oh, there's the spruce. Okay. Awesome. All right, so now we're ready. Let's get to it. Now we're going to need some upgrades for this so that we can see from the main menu a crafting table on each of these four quadrants. We'll need to build that upgrade, and it's uh, extra storage is what it's called. A chest with another set of blank patterns, which are the stone and the planks. A chest. So we'll need a lot of this. Stone. And I believe that was it. Let's see. Oh, we can't build it here. So let's build it over here. We'll need four of them, I believe. Like that. And like that. Yes. So four of them. One, two, three, four. And they do stack. Cool. And what else do we need? These craft, these uh, chests, we'll need four of them. And exactly what we needed. Now we'll need the extra storage, which is just that above that. And we'll make all four. So we can pop them into the upgrade. And there we are. Just shift click them in. Oh, it won't shift click. Can I move them in? Doesn't look like it can. Oh, we got to tell it what kind of inventory this will be. We want crafting tables. You can use furnaces or uh, energy generators or any of those types of things. You just got to tell it what you want this thing to do. So I want crafting tables. We'll have to make some crafting tables. I do think I have some vanilla crafting tables somewhere. I have some extras. Uh, I don't see them now. We have a chest there. We have some tinker tables. They won't work. So let me take a look. Where did I place them? 
You know, I don't see them anywhere. Could they be in here, maybe? I guess not. So let's make some more. We'll need some wood. Uh, we can't use this one. <laughs> I keep getting fooled by that. We'll make a few here. And I don't know that this will be enough. And it isn't. We need four. All right. That's one and two. So that's four. And what was it we were trying to do the upgrade? Oh, oh I wasn't making chests. I was trying to make crafting tables. Derp. One, two, three, four. That's what we needed. Okay. So in the upgrade slot, we will tell it that we want each one of the quadrants to be a crafting table. Now if we go here, you'll see crafting tables. Awesome. But they don't have inventory space. So that's what this is for. So let's go back again to the upgrades. And now we can shift click them in and it popped in there. Cool. And now if we go to main, we'll see that each one has a small little inventory. Not a whole lot, but at least something. Awesome. Well, let's go back to putting these away and keep a neat inventory. And I want to talk a second. Let's see, where are we putting this? We want to put it in here. Oh, actually, let me put this back into stone. Okay, I want to say, or take a break for a second and say thank you to the person who gave me the idea of making this device. It's been very beneficial. The electric wrench. Instead of using a regular wrench to remove these items, I moved it up one block because I wanted to wire it from behind. Still got the nice look of it, the uh, jumbled wire spiderweb look. Uh, it looks busy. I like that. And so um, I have the machines moved up. I'll put some more machines down here. And uh, that gives us a space availability to the front or the top. And I needed that for this because I need this to be away from the wall. Um, I was going to feed it from behind, but yeah, the power is fine from behind. This way I can access this and fill it up with water whenever I need. But this lossless wrench uses a lot of power in in um, in lossless mode. I can change the mode by hitting M and clicking back and forth, and that works. Uh, so let's just make sure that I am in lossless mode enabled. Okay, so I can um, remove these machines without the risk of destroying it. The regular wrench has a little bit of a chance of dropping or breaking. So that's why I needed this and that was an excellent idea. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make the jetpack now and what we're gonna do is pull it up and see what we need to activate or uh, access each one of the inventory slots of the crafting bench, the workbench. We're gonna need um, we're making this by the way, so we'll need the carbon plates. We're gonna let's start here actually. These are the boosters so glowstone, advanced, and alloys. I wish I can pull from here, that would be good if I can see this chest over here. The jet plate, boosters. Oh, well, we were making the booster, advanced, and don't remember what the rest. It was Glow Alloy Advanced. So, Glowstone Alloys and Advanced Circuits here. Let's see if we can pull it up and remember it. So, the alloy are in triangle, Advanced side to side, and Glowstone on the top. And we're going to need two of them, two boosters. And advance on the sides. Now, I believe this was in the center. Now let's see what we're missing. 
and one of these advanced heat vents on the bottom. So, yep, these right here. Now here's the thing, these don't stack. So I'm gonna have to build one at a time and more of this with the alloys. And there we go. So we got both. And I believe we can go ahead and set it down. This way it'll uh, be there. We just need the jetpack on the top with an advance on the bottom and fibers on the bottom. I think it was like that. Jetpack on top, carbon plates. I believe. And let's just review to make sure. Um, I think I got it right. We just need the fibers on the bottom now. And so this is wrong. I gotta just check to see. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm ahead of myself. So carbon booster glass and one advanced. It's just one advanced, okay. Carbon booster glass. All right, so what is the center item now? It's this. Let's get to making one of these. We're going to need an energy pack, which is advanced crystal iron. Let's see if I can remember that. So <laughs> I'm already forgetting. Advanced crystal and iron something. I'm thinking it's the casing and it's probably something like this because it has to be symmetrical and that's the only way I can see it would be symmetrical something like that it is great now does this go here no it doesn't <laughs> you can see how bad my memory is especially when I'm recording so oh we're making this that's why so the energy pack advanced and a lapatron crystal energy advanced and a Lapatron crystal, which is, what is a Lapatron crystal anyway? I haven't done this in a while, so it's, um, all right, Lapis around, advanced top and bottom with a crystal. Lapis around. Do I have Lapis here? No, I don't. Where are the dusts? Here they are. So Lapis around. There was a crystal involved. Here's one. I'm guessing it's there. Uh, so, in middle. So, advanced top and bottom. We're going to need to make another advanced, it looks like, unless we have one here. I see there's a basic here. But no, we're going to have to make an advanced. Let's take a look at the advanced. Uh, red, capacitor, basic, and yellow. Uh, let's see if we have any more yellow here. Basic. Red. Advanced. Advanced what? I don't remember. Hmm. Okay. Oh, actually capacitors, wasn't it? So, let's see if we can do this. It was... Oh, to make one more of these. That's what we were making. Oh, it does fill. It does shift click. Awesome. Okay, so I'll take one of these. I guess that's good. I don't know that we need to fill this though. Let's clear this out. Oh, it puts it into the small inventory. That's good. All right, so we have another one of these and we were trying to make this. Oh, this is what we're making. Let's see if we can. So we got two advanced, a crystal, and I believe it was this. Yes, we're making a Lapatron. Awesome. Is that where it goes or is this where it goes? Awesome. We have an advanced electric jetpack. That's what we were trying to make. All right, so let's put this stuff together. Jetpack chest advanced. Jetpack chest. I got to take it off. I do have it off. Where is it? Right here. It is charged already. Let's see how much of the charge it keeps. I'm thinking the buffer will be larger here, so we may have to give it a little bit more energy. 
and an advanced. And I don't have... Was it an advanced? I don't even remember. But I think there was um, glass fiber cable along the bottom. There it is. And one more advanced. So let's see if we can shift click this back in here. I think we'll need to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to remember this. I'm so pressed here. So a red capacitor yellow and a basic. Oh, that's why we're missing some of this. And this, I think. And we're missing something else. I guess it's yellow. Awesome. So uh, to make this, we'll need this in the middle and glass around silver with red. Okay. Let's see if there's any red over here. There is. We have some left over. I don't see any glass fiber cable there. So let's see if we can do this now. Uh, we're trying to make glass fiber cable. So we're going to need silver and glass. Oh, I put it in this, uh, this chest because it holds a lot more and I have so much silver. That's why. So um, I also off camera made a sag mill. And this will do really good because it does three at a time. The only issue though is that I want to prevent this from going to that side. Oops. Let's grab that. Oh, I didn't grab it in time. It is pulling, I think. Yeah, it is pulling. So <laughs> stop this. What a mess. Here we go. So that'll stop it. So we're going to need three of these. Uh, this doesn't work three at a time. It's this that works three at a time. I'm sorry. So we'll need one more. And then we can grab the rest. And we'll make a, uh, another dust there. But that's fine. So we'll need some glass cable. And, oh, we only needed one silver. Oh, actually two silver because we need two glass. Let's see if we can make this now. One, two. All right. And so we're getting closer. We just need an advance on the bottom. And there it is. And we have it. And like I said, we're going to have to charge this up a little bit. But let's take a flight around and see what the difference is. The problem with the previous jetpack was that although you can fly, you only move forward at a slow pace. As a matter of fact, it was slower than even this, which seems like running. This is sprinting. But it was slower than running. It was a very slow jetpack. So let's try this one on and see if we can fly with it. Energy level 34. I should be able to fly with it, but I'm having a hard time here. Jetpack engine is off. Let's take a look at the controls. Uh, IC2. Now for hover, it's mode. And I have to press up while pressing M in order to activate it. Uh, Alt key might be it. So, I'll have to take a look at how to turn this on. Give me one moment and I'll do some research. I have figured out what the issue was and what key control does it. Just got to put these away. Killed a, a few chickens to get these, these feathers because we're going to need them. But yeah, we fly up with space. Then with M, we can hover. That's cool. But to turn on the jetpack itself, we have to go to gravitation, gravity or gravity suit controls. And that is right here, gravity suit or gravity suite. They have an E at the end. Gravity fly key is K. That turns on the engine. So I can turn it on and off like that. You can see. So yeah, there it is. Now the problem is that with this, with this particular jetpack, Oops, didn't mean to hit K. I meant to hit M. The hover mode on this is horrible. I think it's because of the weight of the jetpack. It's not like the other electric jetpack, which is uh, very light and can hold its hover mode very well. So I was thinking to myself, you know, one thing that can help us with this is if we can make a angel block. 
And so if we grab obsidian, we should be able to do this now that we have the feathers. And uh, let's take a look. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's take a look to see if this will work for our benefit. We'll grab the obsidian or the uh, angel block, place it down. And now we can build from up on the sky. <laughs> It's a little bit more cumbersome, but yeah, like I said, later on down the road, we'll make a, a resonant jetpack, and that'll help us to fly and keep a solid hover mode. Alright guys, I'm going to call it quits here and say thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.